Let's get into this video guys. Another banger of a video, another video request from a subscriber that messaged me on Instagram and asked me to do this. And um, he wants me to explain why everyone isn't your friend. And the truth is, especially like when you're younger, um, maybe in your high school years or something like this, these are the times where you're really going to start to see true colors. And I even remember like two years ago from right now, having a conversation with a couple people that were in grade nine that I knew and I grew up with. They were like little, 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 little kids. And I was probably around the same age as they were whenever they were so small. But I knew them growing up because their parents were friends and stuff like this. And I had conversations with them telling them like, be prepared. Like when you come into grade nine in a high school because you're gonna start to see a lot of true colors. You're gonna start to see the truth of what people really are and who they are. And um, this person updated me what happened after their first year of high school because I seen them a year after, after they went through a year of high school and um, their lifelong best friends completely turned on them. Things like this happened, exact same things that has happened to me, happened to them. And I, I looked at them and I said, I told you, I told you. And this is exactly why not everybody is your friend. People are temporary. Like I explained in my last video, people are very temporary. There are people that might come on this channel for a year straight and watch damn near every video and all of a sudden they'll be gone and never watch a video again or maybe just like, you know, maybe come back after a year after they take a year off. Who knows, but everything is temporary. Um, I noticed how my life went. I, I had different friends every step of the way. My friends group changed up so many times and it's like I'm the type of person that I can become friends with just about anybody and I can connect with anybody but at the end of the day everything does happen for a reason. People leave our life for a reason. People enter our life for a reason. And <clears throat> you will also be isolated at times if that's what the universe wants. If that's what the universe wants that's what's going to happen. I went two years, like, straight, back to back, in a lot of isolation. And it was honestly some of the best years of my life. Didn't even have too much. Just spent a lot of time <clears throat> really focused. Learning growing myself as a person, spending a lot of time on me out in nature. People hit me up, asking me to do this, asking me to do that. Girls messaging me, me declining everything. Not wanting to do nothing with anybody. Exes trying to weasel their way back in my life, declining everything. And, um... <clears throat> My intuition told me to do that. There was no way I was letting anything get in the way of my destiny. Same thing to this day. I'm not letting anything get in the way of my destiny. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. <clears throat> Whatever my intuition says, I'm going to follow it. Even if something bad happens, every time something bad happens, something better happens after that, so it doesn't even matter. Anything can happen regardless to me. I'm going to come out on top. Absolutely anything. And sometimes I hope something bad happens so I can use that as motivation. Because every time I've ever got wrong, like done wrong, like to the worst extent, I gain so much fuel from that. It put me in a place mentally 
to where I could put myself through a lot of pain and do a lot of work. Because it's like I feel so much pain in other ways that I have to even up the scale now. I had to put in this much amount of pain just to feel right. And good things always came out of that, believe it or not. Always. And no, I don't sit around hoping bad things are going to happen, but like, I don't mind. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, I would have never got as fit as I got if the devastating, heartbreaking things that happened to me in the past did not happen. Very, very, very heartbreaking things. I would have never achieved the level of fitness that I have achieved. I was probably even more fitter whenever I was like 19, 20, 21 than I am right now. And I'm very fit right now. Very, very fit. Very fit. It's pretty close. But I feel the reason I had an edge when I was 19, 20, 21 because I invested more time and more money into it. I don't invest all the money in the world into it right now. Just some. Not a whole crazy amount to the point where I'm doing competitions and I'm looking to win worlds or something like this. Um, <clears throat> back to this for a second. Even the people that you might be friends with today, you should be questioning everything. I question everything all the time. I, there, there'll never be a day where I can hang out with friends. And I'm not questioning it. I always see myself as alone. I always see myself as detached. Not so much alone. Because when I do hang out with friends and we do have a good time, I am having a good time. But I don't let myself get comfortable. I don't let myself get complacent. I don't let myself get reliant on these individuals as friends for life. I just sort of see it as we're going to have a good time. I'm going to stay independent. I'm going to stay detached. And we're going to carry on as soon as this is over. And I'm back to back to business. And this is how you have to see it. Even if you're having a good time with friends. And you think they're the bestest friends that you ever had in the world. You can't see it like that. Because they could be an enemy a month later. You don't know that. People change. I've seen young guys come into the gym, the same gym that I go to. They were they were not muscular, they were very small guys. Very like polite, scared individuals. Like really nice, like too nice people. Probably because they are like they didn't have any like muscle. They have to be almost nice like that. But then they come to the gym they start going there for years. Now they're actually built. They completely change themselves because now they're not that nice person anymore. Now they're, it's not that they're not nice, they still are, but it's like they're more straightforward now. They're more like competitive. They're more like, and that's good for them. That is good for them. You want to be like that. You want to be alpha. You don't want to be that yes man. You don't want to be that scared person you want to be that alpha and that's what they are now they're still nice but they're, they're that alpha now instead of that scared nicey nice person people change all the time that's just an example that I used and um that's exactly why everyone isn't your friend do and I mean, like, I've even had friends in the past that, I, like, we're not enemies. But it's like, we're not friends. Like, what do you guys call friends? Like, friends should be, like, your brothers. Like, you're literally there for each other. You would literally go out of your way for each other. There is not a lot of that in today's society. And I would not consider a whole lot of people... Only a few. I can count on one hand 
people that I have like that, and I'm grateful for that. <clears throat> and I even question certain things sometimes with just about everybody because, like I said, things do change. Um, I just, I just have this detached style of living. It's not that I'm living in fear. It's not that I'm living in fear of abandonment. It's the fact that I have this detached lifestyle and I'm happy this way. Detachment is the root of not suffering. Attachment is the root of all suffering. When you when you are easily attached, when you want to become easily attached to people, that's where the suffering is. Detachment is the way to go. On every level. And it's even hard um, to deal with a lot of women like this because it's like they want you to get attached. They really, really, really want you to get attached. And if you don't do that, they won't trust you. And they're not going to, like, let you in. They're not going to, like, be themselves. They're going to become, like, cold towards you. But it's not like, it's not like you're even cold towards them. You're just not letting yourself, like, completely, like, a lot of girls want you to submit to them almost in today's society and that, that is not the way it should be that's they are turning the whole tables on what things really are and how things should be if anything it's the other way around it's not like that you have to be a man it's not like you're cold you're just a man that's what men do we have to be a masculine man. We can't be this feminine, submissive person that all women are trying to get men to do. I won't do this. I've let a lot of women go because I would not do this with them. I've had girls literally trying to get me to marry them. Like, not officially. It's not like they're asking me to marry them, but it's like, we should do this. And it's like, hold up. Like, I don't even know who you are yet. And you're asking me this. You're bringing this up. I did not, I literally do not even know who you are yet. What is this? What is this? <clears throat> it's ridiculous, guys. It's ridiculous. Um... At the end of the day, when it all comes down to a detachment is the way, um, it doesn't mean you can't hang out with people. It does not mean that. It does not mean you can't have a girlfriend or you can't have a boyfriend or something like this. You just can't be so like emotionally invested and attached. You have to be doing your own things on a day-to-day -day basis, guys. None of this stuff, like, sh like, should even be anything. Like, even whenever I look back at life, um, situations that I got myself in um, when I was younger, I, I literally thought that's how it was. And you literally want to get, like, attached. Because that's how young and stupid I was. And, like, your parents and all parents tell you these things, tell you you should do that, you should be attached, you should be so loving and kind and caring and all this. It's not how it goes. It's not how it works at all. And you get like that quick swift of reality pretty fast whenever you come up into your um, older, younger years, if that makes sense. Like your high school years and stuff like this. Those are your older, younger years. You were very young anywhere below high school. Once you start getting up there, you start to become like more of an adult. And those are your older, younger years. And that's whenever you get that reality check that it is not like that. And if you have very good parents, they're going to tell you this from the get-go. So, 
I had my reality check. I seen how things were. I got my red pill dose, and um, it's the best thing that can ever happen to a man. And it just so happens to be a lot of women, and a lot of women that are even in between the ages of 20 and 25 are still like that. They're still trying to get men to submit. They're still trying to get men to do all these things that a man should not do. And these girls are wondering why their lives are so miserable. It's because they're backwards. They've been taught backwards. Literally. <clears throat> and it's all insecurities at the end of the day. Girls, women play mind games because of insecurities. They can't be straight up. As human beings, we should just be straight up, flat out and honest. And that's all it is. If you can't do that, it's nothing but insecurities. So, I hope you guys could take a lot from this video. I'm going to cut this one short. I'll be back tomorrow with some more. If you guys have any more video requests, feel free to share them in the comments section. I will check the comments eventually on this video. And um, I'll see what we have. So, I hope you guys have a great rest of this evening. Until next time, peace out.